I don't know if anybody's on there or not. We shall see. Um, uh, it says I'm live, so we will hope and pray that folks can get to midday prayer today. I'm going to check on a couple of things just to make sure. Um, so your indulgence is greatly appreciated. Let me see if I can find this online and um, um, in any way, shape, or form. It does appear that we are online. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your indulgence. Uh, midday prayer will be a little different this morning because I'm having to go straight to Facebook instead of using the software we use. It's been one of those uh, days, but um, good afternoon, uh, Lynn. good to see you there. Um, and um, I'm glad that uh, we can be together on this Thursday in a time of prayer. We're going to center ourselves as we um, get ready to pray together. So we uh, breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our cares and our concerns. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. Again, I'm glad to be with you today for Midday Prayer. It's a, it's a trying time in the world right now. Um, if you've had any news on at all, we, we know that there's a lot to be concerned about. There's a lot that may cause us to be fearful about. Um, the uh, uh, military action that's taking place in Ukraine has gotten a lot of people very fearful, very, very upset. Um, the, the pandemic continues to, to um, wane on us and to press in on us as well. And um, we're in a place where I'm in per perfectly, or honestly, I'm, I'm glad that we can come together and hear God's word, console one another, pray with one another, and feel God's peace among us. Um, I won't have a song for you today because I can't run the song through Facebook, but... Um, uh, hopefully tomorrow there'll be a song involved as well. So today we're going to simply gather together, hear God's word, um, hear some comments about that, and then pray as hard as we've ever prayed. So the, the reading I have for us today actually was the reading that's as part of a, a longer section of the Gospel of Matthew that we're reading together uh, in our daily text readings. Um, this one is uh, Matthew 18, starting at uh, verse 15. It's all dis uh, 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 discipline, disciplining members of the church is what the, the title says in here. So Jesus says, If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. You know, this, this passage is actually contained in our congregation's constitution around... Um, you know, enacting discipline within the congregation. And, but as I, as I heard these words, uh, and as I've kind of watched what's going on in the world, um, uh, I'm not sure that, um, that we truly understand how God, through Jesus, calls us to um, uh, entering into a discussion with those with whom we disagree, um, or those that have, have um, sinned against us. Uh, I mean, Jesus sets out this plan that says, you know, first of all, go talk to the person. 
Uh, if that doesn't work, then take somebody with you. If that doesn't work, then bring it before the church. I mean, th there's this pattern of reconciliation that Jesus continues to put out there and to hold up as this is what it's like in God. This is what it's like when the kingdom of heaven comes near is that we work towards reconciliation with one another. Not that there will be a, there will be a time when we don't have those moments where reconciliation needs to happen. It's just that we don't stay in that moment, but we work towards coming together um, for the benefit of, of both parties. And, um, and, and Jesus then gives to um, the disciples, I think gives to us, uh, what we in church words call the keys to the kingdom. When he says, whatever you uh, bind in earth, on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Those are the keys to the kingdom. They're the keys that, it, that allow um, God's reign to be fully realized in the presence of God's people. And there's, there's power in our releasing, and there's power in our holding on. And, and I think Jesus is moving us towards releasing. And then the part that gets me, or gives me hope, are, is Jesus' promise, where he says, If I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. And so what we find today, even as we are together on Facebook, is there are two or three together, gathered together in Jesus' name. And Jesus is among us. He is uh, praying with us. Uh, he is co consoling us. He is comforting us. He is pleading as we plead. Uh, for our prayer petitions to be heard. Uh, and I think there's a, there's a great sense of hope and peace in Jesus' promised presence with us. And so now, we're going to gather together, and we're going to pray. And we're going to pray for our country. We're going to pray for the people of, in the country of, of Ukraine. We're going to pray for the world. We're going to pray for the church. We're going to pray for our siblings who are suffering. We're going to ask that God's healing presence surround all of that. So join me as we pray together. Good and gracious God, first of all, we give you thanks for Jesus' presence with us, a promise that comes when either two or three are gathered in his name. And as our prayer group now sits together, virtually holding hands with one another, we, we pray, God, that you hear these words that are on our hearts, these words that are in our minds, these words that are on our lips. And God, we pray for your world. It is a place that so desperately needs to experience the reconciling healing that your love can give. So we ask, God, that you... Um, Make it be a place where peace can happen, where disagreements can be talked through instead of um, settled with force. We, we pray especially for the, the people in Ukraine who are, um, who are hearing air raid sirens and and are experiencing um, explosions and, and for all those that have already been killed in this, uh, in this event, we pray God that somehow they can feel your presence with them as they hunker down and just see what happens. We pray God that the, those that are shelling will have a change of heart and will stop the shelling uh, and will seek other ways of settling differences. We pray, God, for your folks gathered here in this community, in this, in this broader community um, here in Howard County and in the state of Maryland and in the United States, that 
as we continue to move forward together, we too can seek your reconciling peace with one another, that we can listen more than we speak, that we can, as Jesus would teach us, to put the needs of our neighbor ahead of our own needs. We pray to God that we can continue to to have low case numbers of COVID, that are, we can continue to to move forward as we as, as restrictions are relaxed and as protocols are changed, and that we can gather together as safely as possible. We can worship and praise you um, through our, our worship services. We can serve in your son's name. We pray, God, too, for all of those who are suffering suffering uh, mentally, physically, or spiritually. We pray for folks we're going to name aloud the, who need your help, your, your healing presence uh, to support their health. Um, we'll have some names on a list, and then we're also going to pray, God, uh, uh, for folks that are in our hearts and in our minds. So we pray for Victor Broccolino, Gilbert Sindor, Sue Teller, Kathy, Margaret Fulkemer, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fails, Rebecca Neal, Jeff, Glenn Hardesty, Connie and Herb Koss, McKenna Day, Barbara Dareth, Jane Cox, Lauren Mueller, Woody and Charlotte Wallach, Sabrina, Velvia Goodrich, Sean Fitzsimmons, Mia Zinn and family, Trent, Donna, Dave and Nancy, Lynn Smith, Jared and Samantha, Linda Heitzelman, and Peggy Helwig, and those that we name aloud are silently in our hearts at this time. Pastor Tamika, Mariah, Naya, Dante. We pray so, to God for those who are grieving, especially the family and friends of Daryl Butler who died this week. for um, Carrie Shum at the death of her, of her father. And for all those who are grieving the loss of someone that they love very dearly, someone that they held as a precious uh, person in their life, give your, give your resurrection hope to all those whose hearts are broken. And now, God, we come together and we uh, join in our, our prayer. We pray the words that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now, as God's people, we gather and we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. And now I'll be with you tomorrow um, in some way, shape, or form for midday prayer. Um, hopefully uh, using our software we've been using so we can also hear our wonderful friends from Camp Hill um, praise God through song. Um, but in any case, uh, Jesus has promised that he will be with us even as we are gathered together, um, will sustain us, I'm sure. So until then, receive this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. God bless you all. You are a blessing. Amen. See you tomorrow for midday prayer.